going on, Bed Bath & Beyond? Let's talk about it. If you've been following the callouts and you're sitting okay, if you got your own trading plan, then stick to it. Um, but we're, 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 we're coming in hot and we're coming in fast. So what's that going to mean for us? Well, let's take a look at the Ortex. Let's take a look at the charts. Um, Ortex, as of right now, estimating 38.93% live short interest of the free float, 30.09 million live short interest utilization, obviously still at 100. Our days to cover are going up a little bit, which means our volume's probably coming down some. Cost of borrow, I think, kicked up just a hair, um, maybe 10.87%, so nothing wrong with that. Let's keep it going up. If we're going to be going down, we want to see it costing them more and more money going to give you an opinion i'm going to throw it out there if this makes any sense at all for our week of november 18th then i think expect a push down if there's some uncertainty maybe they will hammer it maybe they will do what they want maybe the buyers will step back for just a brief moment in time to be able to capitalize on a a lower price to protect their investment in in the future for that november week of november 18th whatever that is ending so keep an eye there what we are looking at basically trend line we want to see if it can get back into that four dollar and fifty cent call out if not we are coming in hot for our next trend line down here depending on a win and if we hit it somewhere in the three dollar and seventy cent range to I, I would say out here to probably 374 so somewhere 370 374 is going to be next stop if it wants to continue to push its way down my charts uh, unfortunately on trading view don't always update too accurately as far as changing time frames so that's what I'm looking at either we are in this massive flag and it is going to do something like this down to that trend line or we will tighten up this flag at some point. It's too too hard to read right now. There's just too much room in here to really tell you exactly what's going to happen. Um, all we can do is try to create a narrative or a theory as to why maybe the shorts would want to push it down in the next week or so to be able to be in the best scenario possible for themselves if something was to drastically change there in mid-November. Um, RSI's on the shorter time frame kind of coming down which is uh, not the greatest coming out of that 50 range pretty heavy we're reaching oversold territory in my opinion as far as the one hour and even the four hour goes so I, I do think there should be a bounce I just don't know how big of a bounce as of right now the short time frames aren't really doing anything for us yet to indicate that it's going to make that turnaround I, I mean if we could see these shorter time frames even heating up at least we would have a little bit of an indication that maybe it's not going to want to come all the way down and either test our, our trend line or you know coming down in our flag or our trend line heading back up but nothing is indicating that we are getting that reversal just yet so uh, i would be hanging tight seeing what this does um you know how we do it on the channel we wait for it to come through whatever we're hoping is going to be support and then get, catch it on the way back up at least you can still get out of that position green for the time being till we find wherever this thing wants to land and wherever it wants to go um but like i said you you do what you want i don't control your money i don't control your trades you guys trade it however you see fit so let's see what happens but you know what i'm looking for as far as downside goes you know what i want to reclaim at least four dollars and fifty cents as of right now see that hold as a base um it's kind of up in the air guys i, I wish i could tell you um but as of right now i can't so we will continue to touch back see what we're doing see where we're going and just go from there I uh, do hope you guys had a good day in the market slope outside of Bed Bath & Beyond. There was plenty of movers, plenty of opportunities to make some money. But, uh, you know, it, take it one day at a time, level by level. That's what we do. So we will come back. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, stay golden, people, and may your accounts stay green.